I highly advise you, don't take a look at the color of your coffee. Why? Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time I know why you don't want us to look at the coffee, you'll be alerted to Why? It. Because it is chocolate mint keto chow inside of the and coffee. The color of, is the like color of chocolate mint keto gray. chow itself is not super appetizing. It's like a grayish green, and it's because you're mixing a green food coloring with chocolate. It's now you're adding that coffee. to coffee. It looks like a pond I would not let Tabitha go in. Yeah, it's, it's not super appetizing. It's but delicious. It does taste really, really good. So, so the espresso this morning. Um, what I did was the entire pot of coffee, which people keep asking us, like, what is our entire pot? I usually set it to the 11 cup mark because our coffee machine does 12 cups. Never fill it to the 12 cup But line. Well, the other thing is, is that we have like an automatic water line in them. It's not really automatic because you do have to turn it off and on. Mm. But I, I tapped into the refrigerator water line. A manual water and line. And so I have like a little like nozzle that I can just turn and it automatically fills up the coffee machine so that I don't have to come over with a pitcher of water. The problem with that is, is I know it's full when it goes beep, beep, beep. But at that point, you've added the perfect amount of coffee, of right. water. If you go over that even slightly, when you set it to 12 cups, it brews all of the water that is in there. It overflows. And so, so I have found that many times I overflow the coffee pot. I know this is a long explanation Sorry. for how many ounces, but it's kind of cool that it does that, or it's interesting that it does that. So we generally brew it at 11, and you saw on the Vitamix, I basically fill the Vitamix up to the 40 ounce mark. So that basically means we're each drinking 20 ounces of coffee, and then we finish off whatever happens to be left in the pot when we're done. Right. Uh, in addition, we've got some Nespresso's here. Cheers to your day. These are just uh, double, double espressos. So inside of the coffee, we did the 40 ounces of coffee, um, two eggs, and then a package of the Keto Chow chocolate mint. There's a lot going on in this coffee, and I'm thankful for it because I have a lot to get through this morning. I got meetings and stuff to do this morning, and then we're going to come back and hopefully get to review some products. We've got a Keto Raymond Noodle to review. I'm very- And I don't know how I'm gonna feel about I'm that. I'm very interested in it. Mm -hmm. We also found something on our own in uh, Costco. Yeah, we showed that in a vlog. That's that we the want Keto to review. Keto Cup Bars. Yeah. Which some people have messaged us and said, I didn't really like them like the cup. So we're, we're gonna give you what our we honest review. They were not supplied to us by anybody, although, all of our reviews, whether something is supplied to us or not, you're getting our honest review. Yeah. We have told you when we don't like something and we're going to tell you if we like it and we're going to give you your cautions and, you know, if you're new to our channel, the reason we do these product reviews, even if products we don't like, is we because got we got duped early on and it made us start doing videos. In fact, that was really what led to us even doing videos was we got duped by mayonnaise. Like, mayonnaise that was labeled avocado oil Thanks, mayonnaise. Thanks Hellman's and Crafts because you got us started. This yeah. is this is the it's monster. all their fault I was gonna that say, we have this a YouTube is, channel. This is the monster you've created. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So uh, yeah, you're gonna go do that. I'm gonna work on some videos. I'd like to take the dog out for some exercise. We're gonna get some weight off of that dog. It was funny, a lot of comments on the video the other day. What do they think's in there? A lot of people are saying that like they've had 100 and 120 pound labs. Okay. But 
most of the views are she's going to have um, be a, a mix of Lab and Newfoundland somewhere in there. Um, there were a couple people think that maybe maybe her parents were bred with a Great Dane. <laughs> right, right. Well, I, that's something I've thought of too. Um, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we got back maybe, Shetland Pony maybe. as part of the mix. <laughs> it takes a while to, to get the results back. I think they set up to 30 days for it, for the DNA test. That's perfect. But it's going to be interesting. That's great because I'm, I'm personally not great at waiting for information. So I love it when they really drag it out a long time. I know. So, so we're going to do that. I'm going to take the dog for a walk. I may play with my drones a little bit. I actually have a new drone coming in the mail today because uh, I had gotten a gift card from someone for a drone store. I'm like, what do I want to get with it? Ooh, let's get a new drone. I Happy found Bookmas. one that was like right in that price. So I'm excited about that. And uh, I don't know. I'm thinking um, meals today may be like a leftover day. Um, we've got some leftover uh, roast beef. We actually have some leftover pork loin. We have hot dogs and maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll throw in like uh, 15 wings or something because it is... Uh, oh, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. Do you so mean... maybe not do a lot of wings, but do, you know, like some wings. I don't know. We're, we're going to... It depends on how I feel today. It's been seven whole days since we've seen Anthony. That's what mm. you're telling me? Gosh, yeah. that went fast. That whole week went really fast. So my new drone just came. So we're gonna open up the box and take a look at it. So I order my drone stuff from a company called Pyro Drone. They uh, have really good prices and really good customer service. So this is what I got. It's called the Tron 80 Whoop. And I also got some extra prop guards in case I break them and some extra props because you do uh, a lot of crashes when it comes to FPV. So. This is a tiny little drone and you can fly it outside, but you can also fly it in your house. And so I'm excited to take a look at this thing. Yeah, look at how small this thing is. Wow. And this is called the pusher drone because most drones, the props pull it up and this one they actually, the wind blows down this way and it pushes it up. Oh, they actually did give you a few extra props. And here's the antenna. So now we need to go set this thing up. So this is a different type of drone that when a lot of people are used to seeing. So when you watch videos and you see just like landscape or mountains or maybe drones like flying over a city for good aerial footage, those are camera drones. And I have a couple of those. That's what we use for a lot of our videos. And those are very stabilized. They have a GPS built in. You launch it. You're looking down on a screen. You can do all kinds of things with it, but they're very, very easy to control. Now, you always have to keep your eyes on them because there's a law called line of sight. So you always have to be able to see it. So you can't fly it three miles, four miles away, even though they're capable of it. It's technically illegal to fly it beyond where you can actually see it. These are first person view drones. So they're a little bit different because there's no GPS built into them. Everything is controlled by your controller. And if you let go of your controller, it's going to crash. Difference is these are extremely fast and they can get footage that other ones can't get. A lot of people use them as just a hobby. They have fun with them. They race them. But they do use these kind of things in movies. So if you ever watch... Uh, a movie where there's maybe somebody jumping off the cliff and then they're following them down with a camera. They have professional drone pilots who actually have these and it chases along with them. Very, very difficult to do. It takes a lot of practice. I'm nowhere near that. I mean, I've watched like racers like run a lap in 12 seconds. But the difference between that and, you know, the regular camera drone is with these, you're actually wearing these goggles and inside of the goggles, I don't have it on right now, but you're gonna have a screen and you are seeing through your eyes what, if I drop this paper, what this little camera sees and then you can record it. Sometimes you're gonna hook GoPros up to these and things, stuff like that for really, really good footage, but it's a completely different type of drone flying. Again, mostly for a hobby, you crash them a lot 
and then you have to learn how to repair them. That's why you buy extra prop guards and extra, you know, like motors and you really need to know how to do some soldering, but it's fun to tinker with. Tabitha, you wanna go for a walk? You wanna go play Frisbee? Frisbee! You wanna go play Frisbee? So since you're premiering the vlog, yes. I'm gonna take Tabitha to play some Frisbee. Good, this is a long one. This is like an hour, so you've got time. Stay. Go get it. Bring it here. Good girl. That's not to me. Ready? Catch. Good girl. Ready? Go get it. Go get it. Bring it here. Give it to me. Ready? Her frisbee went in the bush. I'm trying to see if she can actually pull it out. Find your toy. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. You ready? getting windy out it's about to rain here we go tab good girl it is now raining and it's getting ready to pour and i think tabitha is like i'm ready to go in tab are you ready to go in Oh my gosh. At least I haven't hit the ceiling like Chris. Do not put this through a wall. Why not? Because I don't want scuff marks all over our house. What are you dancing about? I got coleslaw. It's been a minute. I made some the other day. Wow. And uh, yeah, I've been secretly eating it without you. <laughs> You've been eating this without me? I didn't think you wanted coleslaw anymore. <laughs> if you didn't think that, you wouldn't have hit it. Okay, so, yeah, so we are having some keto coleslaw. This is our recipe, which is on the website. Link for that down below, and link for the video Stinker. over Rachel's head. Mm. Uh, I use avocado oil mayonnaise, and it's got apple cider vinegar, a little bit of stevia, uh, celery seed. Mmm. Mm. Wow. I love coleslaw. This is so stinking good. I Honestly, wow. it's not just you I have to hide it from, but the kids, oh, the love, kids love it. this particular coleslaw. Mm -hmm. It's got that sweet tangy reminds me of like that you're old, looking for. It reminds me of like the old Kentucky Fried Chicken yes. coleslaw. And It'd you'll like notice, that. although you probably can't really see it in the camera, there's carrots in mm. this. 
So what I do, sometimes I'll buy just a whole head of cabbage and I'll cut it up. But a lot of times I just buy the bag of like coleslaw mix where there's no seasonings or anything. It's yeah. literally like shredded cabbage, a little bit of red cabbage and some, uh, some little shreds of carrots in there. The carrots are negligible. It's not going to affect you. It's You're not eating like 50 carrots. Don't eat 50 carrots. And here's the thing. Carrots were never our issue. Let's be honest. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like everyone's so worried about carrots. Like even like the, the uh, dish that Anthony made, it does have an entire onion in there. And you'll get a lot of people to be like, well, onions aren't really keto. An entire medium yellow onion has 10 carbs. For that's for the whole onion. Now, I would stay away from Vidalia onions. I love Vidalia onions, and I can eat one like an apple, but they have more carbs. They're sweeter. But again, it's a different type of carb. But that onion was for the entire dish. I was gonna say, and we have been really eating on this. We got ten meals. This is the end. Yeah. And Anthony's gonna come home and find out there's none left. Sorry. But I ate two meals out of it or maybe even three, Anthony ate three meals out of it. I've You've had eaten two or three meals three, out of it. Three, because we topped a hot dog yeah. with it. So yeah, and oh my gosh. So we had the premiere with this recipe in it. I'll put a link for that video up here. I was dying. Anthony knows what I mean. Like Anthony DiPetro, we talk, it was folding the cheese. When Anthony has to fold the cheese, I, I am like cracking up so hard, even seeing it when they're talking about it, because it reminds me of Schitt's Creek and that was hilarious, like folding the cheese. And then this is the leftover bottom round roast. I ran it through the food slicer. Now it's brown, but it's not overcooked because no. I heated it in the sous vide in just some beef uh, beef stock. Yeah. So it just, it, that warmed it up. Mm. And then over here, Anthony used up all of that Mexican melting cheese. So this is mozzarella cheese. And I made it like a taco and put the end of the yum yum sauce in there. I want to see what it tastes like with mozzarella. Mmm, it's so good. That meat and that yum yum sauce, the au jus that comes with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could eat a boot and be like, that is a delicious shoe right there. Um, I know that it's for- so flavorful. That for the video, like the initial YouTuber that, that came up with the recipe, they put it on a bun because that's what made it so extra, right? right? That it's like you've turned something into a sandwich, but I, I don't need it. I didn't even um, use the PSMF bread with this. I actually just like it, yeah. you know, like a taco. Usually it's actually just served as tacos. Yeah. And that's what it's usually served as. But yeah, that video had, he put it on bread and Anthony wanted to duplicate the video. Hello, Roscoe. Hey, Roscoe, what's up, Would man? not be a Too Crazy Keto video without a cat walking across the camera. Sorry about that. So yeah, I this is a nice, Roundup of like leftovers. We actually have some pork loin. I also uh, ran that through the food slicer. How so nice. now there's some like pork loin lunch meat, and that's good for another couple of days. I love it. And uh, you're gonna be gone for a couple days. So what do we do? Miss me again? I come home every night though. Yeah. I think what we'll do is, well, maybe we'll vlog. I've got a couple of recipes I want to experiment with, so I may work on some of those tomorrow. Maybe we'll vlog and you can kind of show what you eat when you go to a conference. Because a lot of people do ask, like, what can I eat when I'm going to an event? Right? And it can be particularly um, troublesome if you go someplace where the convention or conference is super nice and hospitable. Because they put out a whole spread of things, especially in breakout sessions, you know, um, bars, that are super full of sugar, candy, because they think that they're treating you mm -hmm. to something. So you have to kind of prepare yourself before you go to a conference because it's very easy to just reach out and like take whatever it is for free. That's the other thing too. Some people are like, I can't say no when it's free because I feel like- We used to be that way. This is my only shot at getting this and now I have to do supermarket sweep. So I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff because I, hey, I've paid to be here at this conference and so I get all of the free food that comes with it. But I know going in, I've paid 
my ticket is really for the information. It's not for whatever they they dress the the table with food wise. Right. They will serve lunch, but that's not the reason why I'm going to this conference. This conference is for me to meet new um, ministry leaders, see if there's new things that we can incorporate in our own ministry. So like the knowledge is what I'm seeking. I'm not going there expecting that I'm going to you know eat the greatest food of my life. And here's the thing, we're keto. What's the worst thing that happens? Fast. You do you do a little bit longer fast. Yeah. Your body will get through it, mm -hmm. and then you can go home or in the evening go find some place. There's so many things as you showed on that vlog. You know, going out with Michelle that you can grab hard boiled eggs almost anywhere and yeah. beef sticks. You can run to a grocery store. Almost all grocery stores have rotisserie chickens. There's a lot of things you can do when you're on the road. There's a lot of grocery stores that now are trying to compete with um, casual dining. So they want to provide a lot more grab and go options like a salad or just, you know, basic meat so that you'll grab and go with that instead of going through, you know, Chipotle. Right. Or someplace like that. Yeah, let us know down in the comment section, what is like your go-to food when you're on the road? Is there anything that, you know, you just gravitate towards if you're on the hurry, you know, if you just need to grab something quick? You grabbed on that vlog Whoppers, right? Yeah, they were delicious. You can make it. Is it the greatest food in the world? No. no. But it's still better than going and eating a bunch of wheat and french fries and, and all the other stuff that's going to bring lots of inflammation and derail your keto carnivore lifestyle. Exactly. Do you know we walked 20 miles that day? Did you really? <laughs> wow. It felt like it. I know that that was a long vlog and so we did put some timestamps in there. Uh, you know, I think 25 minutes of it was Anthony explaining how to cook and... I, there was just no way to cut out stuff. He did such a great job. Y'all need to help us convince him to start a cooking channel. He was excited about doing it. Because he, he did such a good job. We really appreciated him Thanks doing that. Thanks for your encouragement, too. Maybe we can get him to do some more videos with us. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, we're going to go and eat now. But I forgot to mention, I did put a half a tablespoon of butter on top of the roast beef. That we're going to finish sense. eating up. You've got a super early day at 5 a.m. in the yes. morning. Um, Me we'll, and the chicken. We'll check in with you guys, uh, I don't know, probably in tomorrow's vlog. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Well, whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. bye.